Hello friends, in this video, we will talk a bit on organic chemistry. Main problem in organic chemistry is to remember chemical reactions, right? Okay, in this video, let me help you to remember almost all elimination reactions. You might be thinking that, what is this elimination reaction? Okay, let me tell you. Elimination reactions are the reactions in which a compound reacts with other compound or Sometimes it reacts with itself by eliminating some unwanted elements in the form of byproducts from it and forms the required compound. Okay, let us consider an example where we are going to prepare ethyl chloride. Okay, let us react ethyl alcohol and hydrochloric acid. When they both react, we get ethyl chloride and water. Here, water is eliminated as a byproduct. Like this example, you will come across many of the reactions in your textbooks and study materials which you cannot by heart or remember up to your exams. Friends, now no need to worry. After looking into this method, we will remember almost all reactions from your study materials. Friends, let us discuss a situation which will help us to understand this concept better. In the festival time, you are in a clothes shop, you were inspired by an outfit of a hero in a movie and you want to buy the same dress. When you ask the person to give the same type of dress which that hero was wearing, shopkeeper shows you the same clothes. But unfortunately, you reject it as it was expensive which ran out of your budget. Now, you will ask him to show some other thing. Fortunately, which came in your budget, but the color did not match with the pan that you have selected before. Now what you will do? You will ask for the same type of dress, but with some other color, right? Similarly, compounds while eliminating, prefer to eliminate in the most stable state. Friends, in elimination reaction, 99% of them are terminal which means the terminal elements combine and forms the byproducts. Now, let us see the very important table that gives us sequential order of elimination. While eliminating, first preference should be given to the water molecules, which means you should try to eliminate water from the reactants. If water forming molecules are not present in the terminal position, then check whether the terminal elements can give us halides or not, which is our second preference. If not, then you have to go for carbonates, sulfides, sulfates and lastly gases like hydrogen, nitrogen, oxygen, etc. Which are our third, fourth and fifth preferences respectively. Right? Before moving to solve the examples, kindly pause this video and write down this table for reference. Consider the previous example of preparation of ethyl chloride where ethyl alcohol reacts with HCl and forms ethyl chloride as the main product. Okay, to solve this we will use table of order of elimination now. Right? As per the table First preference while eliminating should be given to water. Now let us check whether we can find water molecules that is two hydrogen and one oxygen molecules at the terminal position or not. Fortunately we find one OH and H molecules at the terminal position which gives us water only. Now we came to know that the what byproduct is water. Now what you have to do is write H2O that is water at the products side. The remaining elements in the reactants side will be CH3CH2 from the first molecule and Cl from the second molecule. Now you have to combine the remaining molecules from the reactant side to form the suitable product. But remember that while combining you should combine in such a way that the bond where it has broken should be satisfied. 
in this case the bond between ch2oh is broken and in the second molecule h and cl is broken so here cl should come and attach with ch2 i assume that you understood the previous problem now let us take one more example that helps us to understand about this table consider methyl bromide reacting with potassium hydroxide that is koh now according to the table first preference should be given to water right only one oh molecule we can find at the terminal we require one more hydrogen molecule to eliminate the by product as water but we can't find any hydrogen molecule at the terminal so water cannot be eliminated now look into the table again second preference is given to halides right check whether we find halides at the terminal position or not yes we can find them but in one molecule we have bromine and in another molecule we have potassium at the terminal ends which forms potassium bromide right so our by product here is potassium bromide as we came to know about the by product that is potassium bromide write it at the product side now the remaining thing in the reactant side is ch3 in one molecule and oh in the other molecule now the simple thing is to combine both the reactant molecules and write the required product again you should not forget to satisfy the bond where it has broken hope you understood this example also now i suggest you people to solve more and more example using this table and become sure that you remember only this table and solve all the reactions easily without by hurting or breaking your head hope you liked this video thank you